In computing, ambient intelligence AMI, refers to electronic environments that are sensitive and responsive to the presence of people. Ambient intelligence is a vision on the future of consumer electronics, telecommunications and computing that was originally developed in the late 1990s by Eli Zelka and his team at Palo Alto Ventures for the time frame 2010-2020. In an ambient intelligence world, devices work in concert to support people in carrying out their everyday life activities, tasks and rituals in an easy, natural way using information and intelligence that is hidden in the network connecting these devices for example, the Internet of Things. As these devices grow smaller, more connected and more integrated into our environment, the technology disappears into our surroundings until only the user interface remains perceivable by users. The ambient intelligence paradigm builds upon pervasive computing, ubiquitous computing, profiling, context awareness, and human-centric computer interaction design, of which, is characterized by systems and technologies that are embedded, many network devices are integrated into the environment, context aware, these devices can recognize you and your situational context, personalized, they can be tailored to your needs, adaptive, they can change in response to you, anticipatory, they can anticipate your desires without conscious mediation. A typical context of ambient intelligence environment is home, but may also be extended to work spaces, offices, co-working, public spaces, based on technologies such as smart street lights, and hospital environments. Topic. Overview More and more people make decisions based on the effect their actions will have on their own inner, mental world. This experience-driven way of acting is a change from the past when people were primarily concerned about the use value of products and services, and is the basis for the experience economy. Ambient intelligence addresses this shift in existential view by emphasizing people and user experience. The interest in user experience also grew in importance in the late 1990s because of the overload of products and services in the information society that were difficult to understand and hard to use. An urge emerged to design things from a user's point of view. Ambient intelligence is influenced by user-centered design where the user is placed in the center of the design activity and asked to give feedback through specific user evaluations and tests to improve the design or even co-create the design with the designer participatory design or with other users end user development. In order for Amy to become a reality a number of key technologies are required. Unobtrusive hardware miniaturization, nanotechnology, smart devices, sensors etc. Seamless mobile, fixed communication and computing infrastructure, interoperability, wired and wireless networks, service-oriented architecture, semantic web etc. Dynamic and massively distributed device networks, which are easy to control and program e.g. service discovery, auto-configuration, end-user programmable devices and systems etc. Human-centric computer interfaces, intelligent agents, multimodal interaction, context awareness etc. Dependable and secure systems and devices, self-testing and self-repairing software, privacy ensuring technology, etc. Topic: History and invention. In 1998, the Board of Management of Philips commissioned a series of presentations and internal workshops, organized by Eli Zelka and Brian Epstein of Palo Alto Ventures, who, with Simon Birrell, coined the term ambient intelligence to investigate different scenarios that would transform the high-volume consumer electronic industry from the current, fragmented with features, world into a world in 2020 where user-friendly devices support ubiquitous information, communication and entertainment. While developing the ambient intelligence concept, Palo Alto Ventures created the keynote address for Roll Peeper of Philips for the Digital Living Room Conference, 1998. The group included Eli Zelka, Brian Epstein, Simon Birrell, Doug Randall, and Clark Dodsworth. In the years after, these developments grew more mature. In 2005, Philips joined the Oxygen Alliance, an international consortium of industrial partners within the context of the MIT Oxygen Project, aimed at developing technology for the computer of the 21st century. In 2000, plans were made to construct a feasibility and usability facility dedicated to ambient intelligence. This home lab officially opened on 24 April 2002. 
Along with the development of the vision at Philips, a number of parallel initiatives started to explore ambient intelligence in more detail. Following the advice of the Information Society and Technology Advisory Group the European Commission used the vision for the launch of the SIX framework in Information, Society and Technology with a subsidiary budget of €3.7 billion. Euros. The European Commission played a crucial role in the further development of the AMI vision. As a result of many initiatives the AMI vision gained traction. During the past few years several major initiatives have been started. Fraunhofer Society started several activities in a variety of domains including multimedia, microsystems design and augmented spaces. MIT started an ambient intelligence research group at their media lab. Several more research projects started in a variety of countries such as the US, Canada, Spain, France and the Netherlands. Since 2004, the European Symposium on Ambient Intelligence EUSAI, and many other conferences have been held that address special topics in AMI. Topic. Criticism As far as dissemination of information on personal presence is out of control, ambient intelligence vision is subject of criticism e.g. David Wright, Serge Gutworth, Michael Friedewald et al., Safeguards in a World of Ambient Intelligence, Springer, Dordrecht, 2008. Any immersive, personalized, context-aware and anticipatory characteristics brings up societal, political and cultural concerns about the loss of privacy. The example scenario above shows both the positive and negative possibilities offered by ambient intelligence. However, it should be noted that applications of ambient intelligence do not necessarily have to reduce privacy in order to work. Power concentration in large organizations, a fragmented, decreasingly private society and hyperreal environments where the virtual is indistinguishable from the real are the main topics of critics. Several research groups and communities are investigating the socio-economic, political and cultural aspects of ambient intelligence. New thinking on AMI distances itself therefore from some of the original characteristics such as adaptive and anticipatory behavior and emphasizes empowerment and participation to place control in the hands of people instead of organizations. Topic. Social and political aspects The ISTAG advisory group suggests that the following characteristics will permit the societal acceptance of ambient intelligence. Amy should facilitate human contact, be oriented towards community and cultural enhancement, help to build knowledge and skills for work, better quality of work, citizenship and consumer choice, inspire trust and confidence, be consistent with long-term sustainability personal, societal and environmental, and with lifelong learning, be made easy to live with and controllable by ordinary people. Topic. Business models The ISTAG group acknowledges the following entry points to AMI business landscape. Initial premium value niche markets in industrial, commercial or public applications where enhanced interfaces are needed to support human performance in fast-moving or delicate situations. Start-up and spin-off opportunities from identifying potential service requirements and putting the services together that meet these new needs. High access low entry cost based on a loss leadership model in order to create economies of scale mass customization. Audience or customer's attention economy as a basis for free end-user services paid for by advertising or complementary services or goods. Self-provision. Based upon the network economies of very large user communities providing information as a gift or at near zero cost, e.g. social networking applications. The combination of multiple and diverse datasets in a platform for sense-making and understanding consumer behavior, e.g. near. Topic technologies A variety of technologies can be used to enable ambient intelligence environments such as Gasson and Warwick 2007, Bluetooth low energy RFID microchip implant sensors, ambient light sensor, photo detector, thermometers, proximity sensors and motion detectors, software agents effective computing nanotechnology biometrics. Topic. Computing 
This means of computing links all pieces of technology together. This also allows the device to have the capability to remember past requests. Topic. Uses in fiction Minority Report 2002 film. One scene illustrates adaptive advertising in the future, consumers are identified via retinal scans, and receive targeted ads, Parker 2002. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. The doors have emotion, and express this when people use them. See also, Technology in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. The Diamond Age by Neil Stevenson, depicts a world completely changed by the full development of nanotechnology that is present everywhere. Her 2013 film. The opening scene depicts the protagonist commuting home. Upon arriving the various lights throughout the apartment are turned on as the character moves through the rooms automated lighting control. A later scene shows that an artificial entity can also control these systems, changing a song being played in the background to lighten a situation, and for humorous effect. Topic research groups Several research groups have been founded to tackle the question of the manifestations of ambient intelligence, what can be done and what will the actions most probably result in, Ambient Intelligence Group, SciTech, Bielefeld University. Ambient Intelligence Laboratory, National University of Singapore. Ambient Intelligence Research Group, Ulster University, UK. Artificial Intelligence Group in the Informatics Department, University of Minho, Portugal. Ambert Research Group, ELAB, Artesis University College of Antwerp, Belgium. Agent Systems Research Group, Free University of Amsterdam, NI Alcatel Lucent Research and Innovation. Ambient Services Group, AJOU University, CUSLAB, Wellbeing Life Care Research Amavital, Spanish Project to Develop Intelligent Services for Elderly and Disabled Autonomous University of Barcelona, CAIAC Autonomous University of Madrid, Amalab Carlos III University of Madrid, Applied Artificial Intelligence Group, GIAA, Carnegie Mellon University. SciLab, Ambient Intelligence Lab DI, Domotics and Ambient Intelligence, University of Alicante, Spain, MoreLab, Envisioning Future Internet, University of Deusto, Spain Fraunhofer Institute, Ambient Assisted Living In-House Pervasive, Ubiquitous and Mobile Applications, Puma, Lab, Heriot Watt University, Edinburgh, Scotland Hydra, European Research Project on Ambient Intelligence Middleware eHome Lab Living Lab, Lucerne University of Applied Sciences IAMEA, International Ambient Media Association Intelligence Intelligent Environments Research Group, University of Essex, UK. Department of Intelligent Systems, Joseph Stefan Institute, Slovenia Kingston University London, Ambient Intelligence Research Group LIMSICNRS, Laboratoire d'Informatique pour la Mécanique et les Sciences de l'Ingénieur Mami, Modeling Ambient Intelligence, UCLM, Spain Mimosa Project, Microsystem Platform for Mobile Services and Application Manami Project, Micro Nano Integrated Platform for Transverse Ambient Intelligence Applications MERL, Ambient Intelligence for Better Buildings Mesh Cities, a project researching and distributing information about the future of smart, livable cities MIT Media Lab, Ambient Intelligence Group E-Light Research Group, Polytechnic University of Turin, Italy University of Palermo, Department of Computer Engineering, Distributed Artificial Intelligence Group NTT Research, Ambient Intelligence Research Group Philips Research, Ambient Intelligence Research in Experience Lab University of Reading, Ambient and Pervasive Intelligence Research Group Serenity Security and Dependability in Amy Smart Environment Research Group, Ulster University Sense Lab, Sensor Network and Smart Environment Lab, Auckland University of Technology, New Zealand Swami, Safeguards in a World of Ambient Intelligence Circo, Contextual Services Group in the Information Technologies and Communications Department, Technical University of Cartagena EMI Lab, Tampere University of Technology, formerly New Ambient Multimedia Research, NAMU Lab, GECAD, Knowledge Engineering and Decision Support Research Center CETPD, Technical Research Center for Dependency Care and Autonomous Living GREC, Qualitative Reasoning and Learning Systems Research Group LST, Life Supporting Technologies Osami Commons. Open Ambient Intelligence Valor Institute of Technology, Amir Topic. See also Ambient Media Augmented Reality Context Awareness Context Aware Pervasive Systems Cyborg Internet of Things Edge Computing 
Mobile computing Positive ED RFID Sensor Smart, connected products Ubiquitous computing Wireless sensor network <laughs>